Welcome to our lecture online. And now we're going to take a look at what we call an antenna radiation pattern. This call, in this case, it's a dipole antenna radiation pattern. And so what happens with a dipole antenna, the charges, let's say positive charges, are moved to the top half and negative charges are moved to the bottom half. And as they spread out, as the potential difference between the two ends is greater and greater, the strength of the electric field that connects those two regions becomes greater and greater and builds up, as you can see from this picture, there's this picture right there. You can see that the electric field lines are going down this way and up this way. Uh, no, I take that back. The electric field lines go from the positive to the negative on both sides like this. And of course, then that disturbance spreads out and then becomes an electromagnetic wave. Then the, uh, the charges get reversed. So they, then they become neutral. Then they change direction over here. And as they change direction, you build up a new electric field around the dipole antenna. But now the electric field is directed upward because the positive charges are down here and the negative charges are up here. You can see then the, the older electric field moves out and the new electric field builds up and continues to spread out. And you can see as that continues, that just creates over and over again electric fields build up around the antenna. Notice that the polarity keeps changing. Here the electric field is downward, here the electric field is upward, then the electric field is downward and so forth. So for an observer where the electric fields uh, come by the observer, you can see that you, the polarity changes constantly and the magnitude of that electric field changes up and down, up and down, up and down. Of course, it changes direction like that. And so the observer sees an oscillating electric field wave which is then seen as an electromagnetic radiation. At the same time, the magnetic field exists as well. Whenever there's a changing electric field, there will be a, a magnetic field as well. You can see that the magnetic field here will be into the board on the right side, out of the board on the left side. And as the electric field spreads out, the magnetic field spreads out along with it. Then when the polarity changes, now the magnetic field is out of the board on the right and into the board on the left. So you can see that for the observer, as electric fields pass past the electric field of disturbances, go past the observer, sees the constant change in the direction of the B field to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, as the electric field goes up and down and up and down. And so again, the observer sees this constant uh, electric field going like this, magnetic field going like this, and sees that constant uh, wave passing by with the disturbances in the electric field and magnetic field known as electromagnetic radiation. What we're going to do in the next video is we're going to take a look and see what happens at the front end of this wave train. So as this spreads out, and of course what I need to mention is that this is in 360 degrees in all directions, so the antenna pattern goes out in every direction, so no matter where the observer is standing around this dipole antenna, the electromagnetic radiation will go outward radially in all directions. You will not get very strong signals at the bottom and at the top because that's where the negative and positive end of the antenna kind of cancel each other out. So there's not a lot of radiation strength in the up or down direction. It's all in the radial direction outward. So what we're going to do now is imagine as you go further and further out, this curved electric field will become more and more like a a flat face. It's like a planar electric wave train coming at you. That will be the perspective you have when you're far enough away from the antenna. And so what we're going to do then is take a look and see how we can then calculate the various equations describing electromagnetic radiation based upon that radiation coming towards an observer and see what happens to the space around the observer as electromagnetic radiation moves past the observer. So that's the way we're going to take a look at it. As you can see that as this gets farther and farther out, that curved structure of the electromagnetic radiation will really become more like a flat plane. And then we can take a look and see how that's then described in mathematical terms. So if you're still interested, now we're going to get into the mathematics of how to describe electromagnetic radiation.